Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is about solution to the model question paper for the subject microcontrollers with the code BCS402. It is a computer science related branch subject of fourth semester. Let us solve this model question paper and see what are all the questions they have asked and what is the expected answer for that. So this is the textbook which I have referred to prepare the solutions. You can go through this textbook for more explanation. The very first question here is asked from module 1 is mention the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller and RISC and CISC. So the very basic idea of microprocessor and microcontroller is that we need to understand microprocessor will be used in the computers or in the laptops what we have as a processing unit. So microprocessor is a standalone device it will be having a processor itself and externally we will be connect RAM, ROM and all. That's why in our systems we will be having 8 GB, 16 GB RAMs which connected externally. And also the hard disk and the SSDs what we have will be external devices to the processor. But in the microcontroller, microcontroller example is something which uh, it will do particular operation like a scientific calculator. So that will be having inbuilt memory for that operation. So it consisting of a CPU RAM, ROM, timers in a single chip but microprocessor requires all additional things and microprocessor is versatile and general purpose why because as per our requirement we can increase the RAM size we can increase the memory storage but in microcontroller we can't do like that that's why it is not so versatile and they have expensive applications can be uh, installed using in microprocessor but in microcontroller we can't do that because it is restricted and where the power area and uh, space criteria will be there in microcontrollers and large number of instructions with flexible addressing modes present in control processor controllers will be having limited number of instructions and less addressing modes and uh, there are other differences you can go through i will not go through all the differences this much is enough to get five marks for microcontroller and microprocessor difference then we have risk and sysc here so as the name says uh, sysc in the sense it is complex instructions at computer risk is reduced instruction set computer so here in the risk it will be having reduced instructions means small instructions less instructions you can say and sysc will be having complex instructions so these are the differences you can see if you understand the naming or the full form of this sysc and risk you can write all these differences easily then comes the explanation for the architecture of arm embedded device with the help of need diagram is the question it is asked for 10 marks so here we need to write the block diagram first for the uh, ARM based embedded device. It consisting of a ARM processor first and then that will be connected to two controllers. So first you need to explain the ARM processor then comes interrupt controller and memory controller. So these ARM processor and uh, controllers will be connected with AHP bridge. AHP is advanced high performance bus bridge, uh, bus uh, advanced high performance bus protocol. Through that protocol, these uh, modules are going to communicate. And here we will be having a AHB to APB bridge. That means the processor side above this bridge, all the devices connecting are communicating with a through bus which will support AHB protocol. And below this bridge, it will be support APB protocol for the clock, UART and all. That's why there is a bridge required in between the AHB as well as APB buses. And then it has Ethernet. In the outside you can see physical layer of the Ethernet is there and then other memories like ROM, RAM, flash ROM and DRAM external bus can be connected. So this is the um, important topic in this subject. It can be asked in, it, in your exams also. So you need to explain more about this since it is asked for 10 marks. Then the next question is explain in detail about current program status register CPSR. This is also very very important. Here it is 32 bit in size but the grey area here or the shaded area you can see this is reserved for the future use it is not useful uh, in the current one. So other things you can see mode IEFT, NZ, CV and all and also the modes different modes which I have given here in the table you can refer this and you need to explain these for uh, getting the complete marks. Just writing the block diagrams like this, it will not fetch you complete marks. You need to explain each and every bits, which are all the different processor modes there. What is thumb state, interrupt mask, um, 
uh, register what it will do and what you which are all the different flags and here is some explanation related to that processor modes and uh, privilege mode non privilege mode and things like that you can go through this then comes again they asked to write the embedded system hardware diagram i think it is the same question repeated if you know the different answer for this please comment below otherwise even if it is same please mention in the comments so that the students which uh, they are referring to this solution will get a clarity that the same questions it is uh, repeated so please make sure that this question is same with respect to the previous question so the next question is module from module 2 explain different arithmetic instructions in arm processor with example so here add subtract and reverse subtract are the arithmetic instructions and also the examples which i have given here these are the examples taken from that book which i have mentioned earlier so you can go through this and also you need to explain what these um, instructions are going to do and how actually we are supposed to use you can see sub r not comma r1 comma r2 how it is going to subtract these things and put it in the uh, register r not so that is how you need to explain the uh, examples and its operation also then comes explain single register load store addressing mode syntax table index mode with an example here you can see index method and the data and address base address register and the example is given and this is for 10 marks so you are supposed to give the examples for each and every one and you can see here uh, some of the examples which i have took from that book is given over here and please try to explain them in your answers then the next thing is explain barrel shifter instructions so one question will be there on instruction set of the arm for sure here they asked barrel shifter operations again uh, logical shift and the arithmetic shift and rotate operations the barrel shifter is going to do and how actually we are supposed to use that need to be explained and uh, the amount uh, we can uh, shift by is also given you can give an example for this and explain like this here the two examples are given here you can see and then comes different logical instructions in arm again the instruction set here they have asked it is logical instructions so logical instructions are and or xr that is exclusive or and bit clear here also with uh, some example you can explain this then explain code optimization profiling and cycle counting so here you need to explain the profiling and uh, uh, cycle counting what they are going to do in optimization of a code so the first stage of the optimization process is to identify the critical routines and measure their current performance so a profiler is the tool uh, what it is going to do and cycle counter it will measure number of cycles taken for specific routine and also i have given some explanation related to that related to profiling and cycle counting you can go through this and remember you need to write it for 10 marks at least one complete page of explanation is required for this then comes a c program they have asked here to print the square of integers between 0 to 9 using functions and explain how to convert this c function to an assembly function with command here is the c program to do that and here is the explanation to how to convert this c function to an assembly function and also here the command is given so please go through this and understand how how actually the uh, conversion is going to happen the next question is discuss how registers are allocated to optimize the program so here is the answer for this you can go through this and understand how the stack pointer and the stack is used and uh, stack saved registers restoring that registers and uh, returning the value will be done and this is for 10 marks you need to explain in detail to get complete marks with example like this and the next question is develop an assembly level program to find the sum of first 10 integer numbers this is a assembly level program question you need to write the complete program and also you need to write some explanation related to how actually you have written this that can be written with comments which i am shown over here the next question is from module 4 7th a within it diagram explain arm processor exceptions and modes so arm processor exceptions and associated modes are given here uh, the exceptions are uh, fast interrupt request interrupt request swi and reset prefetch abort 
and uh, data about undefined instruction and the modes corresponding to that and the purpose is also given in the table and also this diagram is related to this you need to write this with explanation also so the next question is explain assigning interrupts and interrupt latency so for assigning interrupts the system designer has to have adopted a standard design practice like uh, these three points you can see over here and also related to the interrupt latency it will be depending on both hardware and software and uh, how the software handlers uh, methods will be used and then the second method is prioritization so these things you need to explain here the example is shown three interrupts are there and before the completion of the first interrupt process the next interrupt will be handled so like that you need to explain and how the latency between those interrupts will be taken care the next question is briefly explain what happens when irq and fiq exception is raised with an arm processor so here the so the next question is briefly explain what happens when an irq and fiq exception is raised with an arm processor so here is the standard procedure provided with interrupts are not masked so without masking the interrupts this is this is the standard procedure will be followed and also here is the um, a table indicating enabling an interrupt and also disabling an interrupt so you need to explain this also with this standard procedure then the next question explain firmware execution flow and explain red hat red boot so the firmware execution flow is at the left side at the right side i have given red boot supports these features communication flash ram memory management and full operating system support and the firmware flow if you see set up target platform and then abstract the hardware and load the boot table image and relinquish control so this is what the answer for this and please write the explanation not only sticking to this much of answer then the last module question that is ninth question explain the basic architecture of cache memory is asked this is a 4 kb cache consisting of 256 cache lines for 4 32 bit words is given here uh, this diagram can be written and related to that you need to explain the architecture of the cache how actually it will be it has a controller uh, with a cache memory that controller will take the address issued by the processor then explain how main memory maps to the cache memory so here how the main memory will be uh, connected to cache memory you need to explain here is at the left side you can see from 0 to fffff that is the main memory and there is a 4 kb cache will be there uh, direct mapped and how actually that will be mapped you need to explain with this diagram with need diagram explain associative cache so here again a 4 kb four way set associative cache is shown this cache having 256 local cache lines which are separated into four ways and each containing 64 cache lines the cache line contains four words so uh, again this is a kind of the same thing which we have seen in the previous question but you need to explain how this associative uh, cache will work then the last question briefly explain the cache line replacement policies so there are two methods here in arm one is pseudo random and uh, round robin method so you need to explain the pseudo random method as well as the round robin method used for cache line replacement policy so this is about the model question paper the answers which i have discussed here will be taken from the standard textbook which i have shown at the starting itself please go through the textbook for more information and find these answers which i have given here and you can write more explanation if you go through this textbook that will be helpful for scoring uh, maximum marks thank you